Could time-restricted eating be the key to losing weight or preventing diabetes? This may sound like some kind of speed eating challenge, but it's not. Time-restricted eating refers to consuming all of your calories during the day, usually within an 8-10 to 10 hour time window. So for example, 10 hours from 9am to 7pm. Why could this be good for health? All over the body, tiny molecular clocks help our cells and organs operate on a 24-hour cycle, or circadian rhythm. Bright light cues a master clock in the brain that it's daytime and helps to keep all the clocks in sync and working efficiently. We've evolved to move, eat and digest during the day, whereas at night, in the dark, the body shifts gears and prioritises sleep, repair and recovery. Eating late at night when the body expects you to be sleeping means that your metabolism is less efficient and you're more likely to store energy as fat. It also disrupts your circadian rhythms, which puts stress on the body. For example, one study in middle-aged men found that those who admitted eating after going to bed at night were at 55% increased risk of heart disease over 16 years. Studies in mice have found that access to a high-fat, high-calorie diet 24 hours a day leads to obesity. No surprise there. But mice who had access to the same diet, but in a restricted window of 8-10 to 10 hours, managed to stay lean, despite consuming similar numbers of calories. So does this apply to people? A number of small studies in overweight volunteers have found that by shortening their eating window to 8-12 to 12 hours, but not deliberately restricting food intake, leads to around about 3% weight loss, but perhaps more importantly, better sleep, more energy during the day, and healthier blood sugar control. People also found time-restricted eating patterns easy to stick to, even a year later. Much larger trials are now in progress, so watch this space. So what does all this mean for shift workers, or me, as I row around Britain? Does that mean that we can't eat at night? The recommended meal timing for shift workers is to try and avoid eating or at least restrict intake to just healthy snacks between around midnight to 6am. The difficulty is after your shift you want to make sure that you consume enough calories so that you don't wake up hungry and yet avoid energy dense sugar rich food before you want to go to sleep. You'll probably need to experiment to see what gives you the best chance of daytime sleep, which is exactly what I'll need to do when I set off on my GB row in three weeks' time. We'll be rowing in shifts round the clock, so restricting my food intake too much is likely to make me tired, hungry and a bit miserable. Fortunately, regular exercise has positive effects on metabolism, especially for blood sugar control. And with all that rowing, I probably won't need to worry too much about weight gain. If you're a shift worker or an early morning TV presenter or anyone whose circadian rhythms are regularly in flux, sticking to a healthy diet and regular exercise can help you to balance out some of those health risks. So what do you think? Will you try time-restricted eating? Thanks for listening and sleep and eat well. <laughs>